Now, in the past few days, I've done some videos on age bracket of 65 and up struggling in America. And I have even worse news. The fastest growing demographic of homelessness are people of age 65 and older. And that's not good because these people usually need the most medical help and also have the most mental deficiencies. And if these people are going out on the streets, that's not good. And what does that say about America? And where does America go from here? If that older generation, that older population isn't doing well, then America isn't doing well. And despite these rosy numbers that are coming out every other morning, the cold hard facts are more people are becoming homeless, more people are getting behind on their bills, and more and more people are stressed out about their financial woes. Now that homeless rate is the fastest rate since the Great Depression. And with surging health care costs and medications, that number is probably going to get a lot worse. And look at the health of the nation. That age group that's becoming homeless, that age number is going to drop down. We're going to have even more people hitting the streets. So we got big problems and they seem like they're getting worse. Now LinkedIn is laying off almost 700 people. And, and this website is used by mostly professional employees. And if they're cutting staff, then perhaps your white collar professional employees are not doing as great either. And I just bring that to light as that could be another barometer that things are not going as well as the TV talking heads say it is. Now, this isn't good for the price of oil. The cost of shipping oil around the world has skyrocketed since the skirmish of Hamas in Israel. And freight rates have surged as much as 50% on 16 global routes. And all that's going to do is increase the cost of oil. So this is yet another blow of inflation. All right, folks, now we have retail sales this morning, and the numbers came out pretty good. Looks like the consumer is still spending. But retail sales can be deceiving. And if the price of gasoline goes up, well, you're paying more for the gasoline that makes retail sales look great. So the stock market loves these retail sales. But again, the stock market is not the economy. Now, if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.